Hey everybody, my name is Metal Music Man and I've got Professor Lex here with me for episode two. It's definitely two because you titled the last one episode one. That makes sense. Since it came so, out, this is factually, and, and, time and is actually progressing. Doing it. Yeah, we're actually doing it. That, that is half the battle as I understand it. And the other half of the battle is making sure that we both don't take a drink of the, the tequila at the same time. Which we almost just did. Yes. And I, I will tell you, I almost, um, I almost lost all faith because I read a tweet. I read, oh, no. a, I read a tweet the other day. I don't look at it. It was like, you don't look at it. <laughs> just, I close my eyes. I still get the notifications and I, and I tweet. I just don't look. <laughs> but it was something like, um, if you are, a, it's like, if you're a 30 something yep. man on the coronavirus train, don't, don't do a podcast. Oh no. Like, everyone, every, like it, men that are 30, like it was like single white dudes that are thir- like it was like basically like well like, like if your name is Metal Music Man and you play yeah. Ganondorf and Super Smash Brothers Bro- or Super Smash Brothers Ultimate, don't make a podcast because just because be, of Corona that would be really lame if you started yeah. to make a podcast right now. I was like, man, I'm making I'm making a podcast right but, uh, now. I feel, I feel really bad about hey, it. Hey, if you wouldn't mind coming over and, yeah. and shooting this podcast with me, yeah, <laughs> I have yeah, some great yes. ideas. If, well, if I start whisper talking, punch me in the face. Although I think some people would like that. I would be if you whisper would, talk. <laughs> yeah. So uh, when I when would I got anyone recognize me. No, <laughs> at least of all in a podcast. Who's that quiet guy? No one would say. Um, <laughs> no one will say. When I got over here and, and my girlfriend called and checked in on me. Yes. Yeah. Uh, she had remarked that she could understand me perfectly because I was holding the phone up to my face. But you were so loud <laughs> that you were like cracking. You were causing distortion because she, I guess she had her phone on speakerphone or whatever. From, so oh, you on were speaker? So, yeah. Oh, I will blow a speaker You were up. so, well, and you were across yeah. the room. Well, okay. To be fair, to be fair, as we learned last time, I mean, I, obviously, I'm a loud. You're quite worker, loud. But also, the acoustics in here—it is such a giant yes. room. I mean, it's happening right now, and I'm very conscious of it because I had to, I had to de-reverb the crap out of myself on the last podcast because I wasn't on my mic enough. But also, we talked about tables and acoustics. Sure. Acoustics are weird. I don't know how much yeah. anybody in the audience has ever messed with acoustics. But if you're in a room that's like a big, I'm gonna, if, I'm gonna. If you're looking to apartment. start your own coronavirus podcast, yeah, yeah, definitely don't start it in a single room, like <laughs> like a studio, unless you've got a bunch of shit to like sound dampen. Which maybe one of these days I'll, I'll get some more of those pads. I don't know, but then I'd have to like, I'd have to have a mobile roving. Well, yeah, and thing. then we'd we'd have to construct it between us, and then we wouldn't be able to make eye contact, and it, that'd which, be weird. <laughs> it could be awkward. It could be awkward. So um, we have a, a tentative list of uh, topics, but I think we're going to roll back into Grand Blue because um, one of our loyal listeners, one of our dear viewers, our dear viewers, <laughs> <laughs> wrote in to us. Yeah, wrote in and decided that we did not finish talking about Grand Blue and that we only quote, I believe, I believe it was talked about bursts for 40 minutes, which is not entirely inaccurate. No, no, it's true. It's true. We did talk about bursts for I, I didn't I didn't have a stopwatch, but yeah, it was a long time about the bursts. Yeah. So we can burst into uh, Lex just <laughs> Lex just pooped on me five one in a set. We've been playing. We played for like two hours a day and like another couple hours recently. Uh, I have uh, immediately saltily decided that Beelzebub is a trash character that can do nothing. If you've been looking at his Twitter, this is a stark uh, sort of manic depressive uh, yes. heel turn from I, from twenty minutes ago. I'm he might be say. a worthless character. He might be a worth, or he, he might be your best friend. He There's might no be a worthless character. Oh. Well, the uh, odds are, if he is worthless, that will only make me want to play him more. Yep. Which is again why I knew I was going. I was destined to hate you when you recommended yes. him for me because I don't. I only kind of like characters that are actually good any character i like actually really like is dog shit is dog shit they always end up being terrible this happened to me in brawl but luckily in brawl i didn't like anyone so then i just just kind of like it was like we were talking about before where i play ryu in other games Mm -hmm. like just because i don't know it's ryu he he works and he's really good in like street fighter 2 so yeah, in Brawl it was like I'll just play Falco and DD because I don't really like anyone that much. Yeah, that's kind of weird. That sounds sort of like an abusive relationship that you had with Brawl, where you well, didn't like any of the characters. There's really no other it. kind of. Oh, well, excuse relationship. me. All right, with fighting games or no? Oh, there's no other kind of relationship in general. Okay. Yeah. No. Well, okay. <laughs> That that, way that's more meta one of the, than I realized. That's one of the the topics on the list is uh, butts and sadness. But of course, we're here to talk ostensibly you're about Grand Blue. Yeah, butts and sadness is whew, man. You're gonna have to dig me out of that dump. You mentioned it. Yeah, um, my bad. <laughs> how dare you? Yeah, so I don't know. Grand Blue's a really good game. I might start playing though. I might start playing Grand again more. We'll see. I need to play other matchups. It might just be that Charlotta is terrible, or that you're you. I am and, me. And it, you, it turns and out you tend to uh, eventually have my number, even though that never happened in Smash, which greatly saddens me. No, it, it will one day. Happen Someday in Smash. it will. Yeah, and just I'll be, not today. Not not, not ever. 
Um, but no, I, I'm finding that I really enjoy Charlotta because compared to characters like Narmaya, who have really fun combos to do, all you have to do is like press buttons and then people die. Like when when you hit them with your sword, it takes their their health bar down, and no matter what buttons you're pressing, it's always right. Uh, yeah, that's the part that's annoying. I have a hard time punishing your freaking dragon punch, which is stupid. It's a sumo slam like E-Honda. How long did we spend trying to lab out uh, yeah. a sumo slam punch? Oh, yeah, this is good. While we're talking about specific things to Grand Blue, it seems that there is no buffering out of block stun in any way. Seems and, from our studies. Yeah, I mean, we haven't like super duper labbed it, but we, well, I mean, shit, we talked about it for like an hour today, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that's why it's hard to do reversal dragon punches in that game, not on wake. Like if someone's doing a block string, sometimes it's hard to get the dragon punch out. It feels like there is just no buffer whatsoever. And I'm fairly certain that there is no buffer on hitting normal buttons out of block stun whatsoever. Um, Because as we checked, if you're doing a combo, you can double tap a button and it pretty much just works. Yes. Every time. Like you do the combo, double tap, double tap, double tap, double tap. It's a one frame link from Charlotta EX, sort of Lumiel and Defar stand medium. And if you double tap it, you'll probably hit it. Yeah. And I double tap all my Beelzebub combos as well. Sure. But out of block stun, um, in the case of blocking a dragon punch, it seems like you can't do that. And so you're better off manually timing it. Like it almost might punish you for double tapping. Question question mark. I I I don't know. Now that we're sitting here talking about it, I wonder if so. Charlotta, if you guys haven't played Grand Blue, has a her her reversal is a uh, it's a sumo splash kind of like Honda, where she goes up with the sword and then comes back down. And I'm I'm wondering now if you ever could have gotten out between it. Or if there's so much hit or block stun from the first hit where uh, she goes up. hundred percent we did test me trying to walk. I did not test trying to dodge. Oh. And I could not walk. I was in block stun on the way up, all the way to the way down. Okay. But I think maybe you can dodge out of block stun question mark. Maybe not. I I'm don't... doubting that. No? No, so we're then, gonna have to go back to the Yeah, line. we'll have to test it. Anyway, character's bullshit, mad bullshit. Yeah, well Unga Bunga <laughs> Potato, uh, a, a human with, with the crown. Yes. She's she's God. the the queen of potato. I, I'm I'm unsure where this analogy is going. She's a but... potato queen. She's a yes. potato queen. Just do You've it. You've heard it here first. Um, so yeah, Charlotte's pretty dumb. But uh yeah, Grand Blue, I don't know, still a neat game. I think I might play Grand again. Um, but I think um what we got stuck on last time and with regards to bursts that we didn't maybe stick on as much was some of the the neutral. And I remember you saying you didn't really feel like it was like Street Fighter 2 that much. No, maybe I did. No, hey, it did. feels kind of like Street Fighter 2. Well, too. you said that was my like my yes. bias or something. Yeah, I think. I don't know. I still can't decide because it goes into the same line of what we're talking about with Beelzebub being frustrating Mm -hmm. because people can just dodge all of my shit. So in Street Fighter 2, like one of the big things of that game is like all you can do to get around a fireball is do another fireball or jump or maybe Dragon Punch or Tatsu, depending if you have that option. Sure. But for most characters, it's basically block or jump. Yeah. That's all you have. Um, In this game, you've got a dodge roll forward and an in place dodge and characters have a really easy time dodge roll forward or in place dodging all of my projectiles and your uh far reaching normals that uh far stand heavy yeah, yeah far hard oh my god yeah and so you can just dodge in and then like actually still whiff punish it or even if you don't whiff sometimes punish it, and, and like putting you in block stun as charlotte yeah i'm in block stun yeah. and i'm just dead so that part of the normal feels real bad um <laughs> for for beelzebub or for, beelzebub, for you for beelzebub, okay. for beelzebub. well i mean both but if you're it doesn't feel that way about the game overall to me no okay good. like i played grand and i think i only beat you like one or two games out of like five but i mean sure i didn't really feel like you haven't been grinding him yeah you dropped i didn't a feel like grinding it out but i'm like okay this immediately feels like a way better matchup than beelzebub versus charlotta i that's would say like that's probably true way way better yeah. um so i just kind of wanted to verify that i guess and i think i did um but then the difference is on that same point with grand if you spot dodge or dodge roll through grand a, he has the medium fireball, which does double hits and a lot of times yeah, he, will hit you. Yeah, he has like a, a weird slash and then he shoots the fireball. Yeah, yeah. so it's like a two hit fireball more yeah. or less. I mean, it's not really, but yeah. Um, it's, well, it's, it's a melee hit it's and a two then a fireball. Hit and also yeah, a melee hit a and then a fireball. Yeah. So there's that as an option that he has. And then also, I feel like his fireball just has less total frames. I could be making that up. I don't know. But it seemed, or maybe it's just that he's quicker. That's, you yeah. know what, that's probably what it is. Yeah, because it feels like. Beelzebub can't walk. He can't walk. He has no walk speed. So, Stubby legs. Yeah, no knees. He just, well, just kind of yeah. floats like a weird floater. So that, yeah, that felt really tough, man. Um, so I don't know. That's kind of where I'm like, 
struggling right now. With your that character game. identity crisis, or well, it wouldn't not even have been an identity crisis if I would have just stick with Grand. stuck with Grand. Yeah, I already liked Grand, so like maybe that's just what I should do. You it's could, just, if you don't really like any character, you could just play Ryu. That's the problem. But, is I yeah, do like you do Beelzebub. like Beelzebub. And see, I wouldn't have even known that I liked him if you didn't force it upon me. Be, Basically, tr- you're be the worst. true to yourself. No, be true to your heart. I already do that in Smash Ultimate, right? I already play Ganondorf. He's the only character that I love. He's the only one for me. And I take it to the grave, and I die, and I lose for free to fucking dumb shit. And it's like, do I want to fuck with that? Yeah, but game? but like now, now that you lose to dumb shit and all, aren't you like uh, Mr. Street or Street Fighter? Aren't you Mr. Uh, Smash Brothers? Uh, didn't didn't you get promoted to uh, the the Elder Council? <laughs> aren't you part of the the secret society? <laughs> yes, that, I am a member of the secret the society yeah. of St. Louis Smash, which really means nothing whatsoever, and just that my name is purple. Um, but that my... that's not a that's not an achievement. That doesn't have. I don't. I want to. I want to win and do shit, but well, I sure. want to win with. With Ganondorf, and yeah, you I'm can't. Sorry. You it, can't. You're you, not allowed. You can't have your druthers. <laughs> you know what? Let's let's focus into that. Let's let's shift in because I feel like I'm I'm off a of Grand Blue train for the moment, and you know, screw Pharaoh anyway. That guy can't. That guy can't dictate uh, uh, our podcast. Yeah, yeah, get out. Yeah, yeah, yeah get out of here. No, Pharaoh. But, but if you're listening, please stick around. Um, yeah, but <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Um, I haven't played Smash really at all since the COVID crisis, as it were. Because Smash Online is dog shit. When when you came over to my house, were did was that that wasn't COVID? That was pre COVID. It was around. It was COVID. about COVID, and we weren't playing Smash then. We played for like well, ten for like minutes, five seconds. Yeah. yeah, we played like a couple yeah. sets, and then we played Grand Blue the rest yeah. of the day. Um, Grand Blue is kind of fun. It, it is kind of fun, but <laughs> I mean, the thing is, like, I still, I still really like Smash. I still want to, if I had my druthers, as I believe you just sure. said, and so now it's planted in my head, and we're repeating ourselves. But uh, if I if I had those things. I think I would prefer still Smash Ultimate over Grand Blue as a competitive game. Um, Why is that? Oh uh, man, that's an, that's a great question. Let's See, delve into that. I, okay, so I would prefer to play Grand Blue because unlike Smash, I don't suck at Grand Blue. <laughs> that's a shitty. It doesn't make though. me. It doesn't that's make me sad argument. to play Grand Blue. <laughs> See, I think I'm uh, unlike a lot of people. I am relatively equally good. At yes. Both kinds of games. And that's that's a sin. You, you're not supposed to be able to play both games and, and be successful. Yeah. Um, I think I'm marginally better at normal fighting games. And I think most of that has to do with fighting games being easier to practice and understand. They're mo- despite, more coherent. Despite every smasher being terrified of. I can't tell you how many people after both my Grand Blue tutorial video my recent just tweets about Grand Blue and after this podcast that are in the St. Louis Smash community. Yeah. I can't tell you how many of them are like no way. There's no way. It's so hard. And like, there are people who are interested. What? And then they, they just think it's so hard, man. No. It's not. I know. I no. Know, <laughs> I know. And the best part is now we have Hylian to be like, guys, guys, I was really, oh, yeah, I was really bad for like two weeks. And I thought I was never going to be able to do anything. And now he's like, I mean, he's not like amazing, but he's he's a very competent, Wait. normal fighting game looking player. You would look at him and be like, oh, he knows how to play fighting games. It stands to raise. Well, it stands to reason he's probably better at Grand Blue at this point than I am at Smash. And I've been playing Smash for what, a year now? So. It, that's tough it to to borrow i a don't phrase, think we have enough data for that but i also sure. don't think you're crazy for saying that. yeah well to borrow a phrase from highly and he said that or i guess you said he said that it clicked and that's yes. something that he never had in smash yes, and something that i'm still years, missing even as many yeah. years as he's played smash and even though he was like the best game and watch in the united states and the first or second or third best ice climber sure. in brawl he was like, I literally never felt that click with Smash. Because it, ever. It doesn't, you can't intuit a Smash game, or at least I haven't, uh, the same way you can a fighting game. Fighting games, they make sense. I'm you gonna, get it. I'm going to disagree. Sure, go ahead. I think Smash is easier to intuit initially. Um, so I, like, think, I think fighting people? games are way less intuitive initially. Um, let me use an analogy here. <clears throat> um, Smash is like, I think I, I think I said this one recently, so hopefully I don't mess it up. But it's like Smash is like you rent a car and you go on a road trip and the car is like an automatic. It's simple. It's comfortable. You get in and you just start driving and you're like, oh, yeah, I can just this is just a car. I can just drive this car. Right. Mm-hmm. But then the road you're on is this weird turny thing that goes up and down all these crazy the hills. Road. It goes around. Yeah. You're on like Rainbow Road and Mario Kart. Yeah. You have no idea what's coming next. You don't even know what really the optimal way is to go. There's like multiple paths. They all look similar. And then when you are on the right path or the wrong path, you don't even you don't know, know that you're on the right or the wrong, right path. Or wrong yeah. path. So even though the car is really easy to drive, it's like really hard to validate your own yes. uh, uh, improvement and, and assess 
whether you are or aren't doing the right thing. I so, think that's why it's so easy for me to say that I'm very bad at Smash. Yeah. Because well, I, I have no idea where I am on this crazy And you're really road. not, but you are like plateaued at a point sure. that you have not crossed over. And so with a fighting game, it's like, hey, you have to drive this big clunky, a manual yeah. or something and you have to go up this like hill and the hill is like not even really a big thing but a bunch of people are like it's, well it's, it's a manual a gradient. It, yeah. there's a hill but then like once you get over that hill the manual it just has like it has like three gears it's really not that hard <laughs> and the road is totally flat and straight after that for the most part right. not maybe not perfectly straight but like you know it, you can at least see the way it's curving you know, yeah, yeah 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 the road the road is a modern man and it's not a perf- it's not perfectly straight it's just a mostly straight road um, <laughs> it's 2020 yeah 2020 yeah. it's 2020 that road is like 90 percent straight okay so <laughs> but it's not outside the realm of yeah yeah and sure. it's, yeah exactly so it's not afraid to have a, a couple turns a good here. time yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah exactly <laughs> oh my god so anyway i think that's where you I think I think it's almost easier to start with Smash because if you start with Smash, you're terrified of the fighting games. They're like a pool. But then someone like throws you into the pool, or you throw yourself in the pool and eventually you're just like, whatever, like you eventually get past the comfort level. Mm-hmm. And then they're they're so much easier. Whereas like if you start with fighting games and then you transition to Smash. Yeah, you though, have no well, idea. I think Smash is easier to pick up still. I really do at a at a base level, at a low, like a low, low I, medium level. I get level. the general concept, but, the but I want to be good. Well, right. And yeah. that's and that's the difference. Yeah. Because you are expecting, based on all the other regular fighting games that you've picked up, where you like get good in X amount of time, yes. it doesn't happen in Smash. Never. Whereas on the flip side, mm-hmm. on the flip side, you're gonna have that one hard time if you're good at Smash to begin with. You're gonna have that one hard time with like a normal fighting game. Figuring out where the gear shift but is. But you're gonna hit that gear shift. Yeah. You're going to hit it because all the gear shift is, is like knowing how to do your special moves. Yeah. Knowing basically what things you can punish and knowing like how to zone or apply pressure or both to some degree. Whereas in Smash, it'll be like, I don't know. I got hit in the face. I have no idea. So. <laughs> and yeah. then you're lost on Rainbow Road and the, the yeah. paratrooper so, or whatever comes. Exactly. You yeah. So I think to our original point, like, I think that's why I haven't. um, I haven't really felt like I'm missing out currently because. Uh, as far as Smash practice goes, because it's like the scene's dead, right? I mean, it's well, dead. I mean, it, it's not it's, dead it's, forever. Um, it's, it's temporarily, yeah. yeah, it's sick. It has the scene as COVID, whatever you want to call yeah. it. And it's like I do miss playing Smash, and I do want to play Smash, but Smash Online is shit, so I'm just gonna play Grand Blue. But back to the original, original point. As we circle back to all yes. things burst. I no, no, we're not back. <laughs> oh, that excuse far. me. That, that's back to last week. Um, I pre- I think I would prefer Smash Ultimate over Grand Blue. Okay, and I think it's because. The scene is more realistic. The scene is more the, realistic. It's it's more realistically competitive. Sorry, that make, it's it's more it's a more realistic goal to have a competitive scene for the game because there's more people in it. Um, okay, you don't have to grow it as hard. And I think True. this is a thing that you may or may not consider when you think about what game you want to compete in. That I always do, and sometimes I get into arguments with people about this, and it's difficult because not everybody understands it. For me, a huge part of the game is. Of, of competing in a game is whether or not I like it. Sure. But just as big, it's maybe like a 50, 50 split for me mm-hmm. is how competitively viable. I think that game is. Okay. And, and that's not, and I don't mean, I mean, there are two ways you could, you could say competitively viable. One is like, yeah, because you do have to be specific. Yeah. Here. Right. And it's, it's yeah. kind of hard to, 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 to no, no, explain no, it, with, with but, specific regards to smash in St. Louis and uh grand blue in St. Louis, because we, the, the general skill level I have noticed, or I hope in smash is much higher in, in, it's pretty high for St. Louis ultimate in St. Louis. Then say, for example, I like, want to say that, but yeah, it the, is. then say, for example, like street fighter was uh, on the flip side our anime scene has like real legitimate killers like AKA Mr. K. But they're, the scene they're, as a whole is yeah, not as not good. Not as competitive. It's got like some killers yeah. at the top yes. and then the rest of the scene is like whatever. It's not as spread out. And it's part of that is because it's not as big and part of that is because of how easy it is to pick up Smash compared to other games. As um, as you yes. In the no, well, right. And so, okay, so I'm glad, yeah, I'm glad yeah. you said that because to me that's like, you could look at the game objectively and be like, here are the systems of the game. Here's the way the game works. Here's the way I think the game should play. That's one way to be like, is it competitively viable, right? Yes. Like, is it Street Fighter Five where it's just like stupid, or does it have some nuance? And you're like, okay, this is com- Street Fighter Five. This is <laughs> you're like, hey, this is competitively like something that I think is interesting. That whether the game is is mechanically competitively viable, sure. That's not what I'm talking about. Although I do need that. Yeah, as there's a, a faction of, or factor of that. Yeah, I think that's like maybe half of it. 
But I think almost the other half for me is, yeah, whether the scene is, yeah, whether people will play the game. And that's still an unknown for me with Grand Blue. With Smash, people are going to play it. And mm-hmm. so, and that's why, like, as much as people want me to, like, a lot of times people will tweet me or message me and they'll just be like, oh, you should play Street Fighter 4 again. And it's like. Yeah, that's me. I'm, I'm tweeting and messaging you to play Street Fighter 4 again. I know. And and that I, I but, see but the sadness no in your face. There's no scene. Yeah, the, so the scene the is like us and whoever feels nostalgia for the five seconds they pick yeah, up the controller so until so they walk away. Yeah, so there's no point. There's no point. And that's sad. And the game yeah. is still. And they're like, well, the game's still there. You can still it play it. It is still good. And it's like, still I get real. It, but yeah. the scene is not. And yeah. that to me is just as important. I, I would I would actually, I think, I'm going back. I don't think it's 50-50 for me. Yeah, I think I, it's 40-60. I think you're right. If that not more. Not that because you. for me, yeah. if there isn't, yeah, if there is not a viable scene to give me the opportunity to compete and better myself, I, that's more important to me mm-hmm. than the game being good. Because if that weren't the case, I would still play Street Fighter 4. Right. Because I do think that's the best fighting game ever made. Sure. <laughs> um, San I, Elena. I play a, a lot of Marvel vs. Capcom 3 with, like, Chris Lentz, basically the only person. Yeah, Psycho Shot's like the one guy who plays uh, still Marvel plays still. Yeah. yeah, like uh, it, it, that's that's dealing a, a few people uh, dirty. But like mm. in general, if I'm going to grind games, there's like maybe three or four people in, in St. Louis. That's not a scene. Yes, that's not a scene. Yeah, yeah and, 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 then and I recognize that, but I'm still comfortable playing the game because I like it so much. See, and I don't think I wouldn't play it with you, but I wouldn't. Sure, we have, in fact, played Street yeah, Fighter 4. Yeah, it's fun, but it's like, it is, it's a waste of time, man. <laughs> and, and, and and everything is, and so here's like, I'm not like, yeah. that's not no, a no, like, no, no, I, I understand. Yeah, I'm still going like, to play I'm Marvel. better than you or whatever yeah. thing. Um, because ultimately, we're all just fucking playing video games. Yeah, seriously. It, it, yeah, yeah, yeah I don't give a shit. Like, do whatever the fuck you want. But, but like, for, for me, you. I'm trying to compete. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I think it's confusing, too. This is going in a much more existential direction than I uh, assumed that it would when we started this. Yeah, we were, were going to talk about Grand Blue and Butts. But we were, but see, it's never, you know what? Maybe that's our real theme of our podcast is that, that we start with Grand Blue and then we never and, finish talking okay. about it. That's the real thing. Like, it's a quote unquote Grand Blue podcast. Um, <laughs> you know? Okay. Anyway. Um, shit. I just lost my thought. Oh, I'm so um, sorry. How dare you? Uh, oh, yeah. So on the flip side of that, I think this is where other people get confused with my motivations because I think a lot of times with ultimate people are like, why do you fucking play Ganondorf? You know? Mm -hmm. Cause all right, I'm going to spit some hot fire. That that character is, I feel like at this point, unquestionably bottom five. And if you think he isn't, and the reason is because I'm good. The answer is that's just how much better I am than you. And if I've <laughs> oh, there's the hot fire. Okay. And if I've ever beaten you as Ganondorf, it's because I am so so much better than you <laughs> that I can beat you with Ganondorf. That's real. Well, and I've had people tell me they think Ganon is still like I had he who will not be named say that it was a high Ganon was high tier as recently as like six wow, months that's, ago. That's really kind of you to protect I've, their identity like you that. You know, I'm not trying to be that dramatic, yeah. but but like, so, but, but you know, it's a thing and whatever, people have their own opinions. Maybe I'm an idiot. Maybe he is really that good, but like, I mean, he's, he's not, he's fucking not. Yeah, as, um, as a person who plays Ganondorf, you can confidently he's say he's not. not. Okay. And I've had, you know, I think my, my, my go-to line about Ganondorf um, for most of Ultimate, even up to pretty recently has been that I honestly don't know whether he's bottom five or mid tier. And I don't think that's unreasonable because the game has 80 fucking characters in it. Yeah, it's it's really hard to and, find where the middle and is. And the balance is honestly amazing. Um, considering that. Um, yeah. so it's not like a gripe, but the character is bad. He's just and bad. I, I have seen you gripe about a handful of sure. matchups. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not MGK or anything. Like I will drop that name. Like I'm not uh, okay. MGK is a Twitter guy that does manager stuff. And props to him. He's 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 giving me some stuff that is really useful Mm -hmm. um he's got some good tech but he's kind of like people give him shit because he bitches about stuff half of it is legit because gandorf gandorf be bad he's bad and then sometimes he bitches about stuff like there was one he did the other day about like down smash whiffing because someone runs into you and i'm like i don't care about that i mean it's dumb how often would that come up not that often okay i would rather it wasn't an issue obviously Mm -hmm. but on the spectrum of issues that gandorf has as a character fixing the point blank down down smash blind spot. That's is, not your your. No, that's because, not on your wish list. Because anytime you hit them with the front, which is what most of the time you're going to do, uh-huh. they bounce into the back and they get hit by the back hit and they're good. Sure. But there's a yeah, there's a sweet spot where if you hit in the middle, he just whiffs. Mm-hmm. But compared to the sweet spot of like forward smash not working, oh my god, that yeah, Be- the forward because smash, you use the it, forward you smash get mad when blind it spot yeah. of forward smash is like way bigger issue. The down I don't give a fuck about the down smash. Sure. Board. 
Anyway, Gandorf is bad. Really, really bad. Um, Ganondorf is bad. You're def- very good. Yeah. Um, and, and I'll give for all the people that are scoffing and, and you know, like <laughs> laughing at me and waiting to, to tweet me about how obnoxious I am for <laughs> saying metal that. Metal Music Man. I cannot yeah, believe you. At Metal Music Man underscore. Yeah. I have beaten your Ganondorf. Um, I'm a better person than he, you. He is. Um, and I, I, I guess I should start with, I do subscribe to the idea that characters, quote unquote, carrying does not really have anything to do with whether they are good or bad. Um, so I will accept yeah. a degree of, you know, quote unquote, metal is carried by Ganon. Uh, it really has more to do with that. I'm really good at picking my character and yeah, he plays it, it the way that I want to play you. the game. Yeah. Um, but if you want to call that a degree of carry. If that's a carry, then sure. I think it is a you're, carry you're to hard a degree. Carry. Um, yeah. yeah um, it, to a degree. But um, so I think that's like a, a relevant point to make. Um, it would be harder for me to play the game with a character that didn't play that play style. But I don't know. I mean, I feel like you could say that about a lot of people um, mm-hmm. that are even good. Um, well, yeah, I, like MK Leo, I I feel like is carried. The majority of his carry from Joker comes from the fact that Joker speaks to him. Not so much the Joker is good. That is my um, opinion, and I'm bad at Smash, so whatever. But that's how I feel. I I will agree with that, but disagree that it's Joker specifically because that dude has developed so many different characters. Even He's in a this wizard, game, yeah. He he had Ike. He had Lucina. He had who else? He has Byleth. He yeah. yeah. He that dude is a wizard. So like yeah. I mean, uh, I'm not gonna hard disagree with that. I um I'll say I think I think it's, I think I see what you're saying, but I also think it's important to recognize that he has elevated multiple characters sure so maybe um, maybe leaping straight to the top like i that think wasn't joker is fair. better than the other characters he's elevated though i feel like when yeah. people were bitching about lucina when he was playing lucina it's like lucina's hell they had no idea lucina's hell overrated yeah. he's just literally that good i mean lucina's still top 15 when i say she's hell overrated easily top 15 maybe probably still top 10 maybe not maybe not top 10 that's close i'd have to i'd have to map that out but i think lucina, do the math. i think lucina is a, an extremely good but also highly overrated character joker is not overrated no Joker. he's he's pretty much as good as people say he is not quite but close yeah i don't it's tough he he might not be the best character in the game anymore after the 7.0 nerfs yeah that the down I, guns I, makes I, me sad it does make me sad i know you don't because you're fuck, ganondorf should, yeah it doesn't even have to do uh, ganon isn't even that bad against it compared to some characters to be perfectly honest with you. really no he, i mean it's not uh, don't get me wrong yeah it, it's, it's absolutely dumb. dicks you though it's dumb yeah <laughs> uh well no but i can save my jump and mash up b and and, okay. then, and and it's really not it's not the end of the world. Um, it's I think it's a bigger problem in his, from his disadvantage state on stage for me than it is for my recovery. Okay, I don't think Ganon's recovery is that fucked by down guns if, okay. if you're smart. Um, but if you're Ganon's, as smart as metal Ganon's, music, man. <laughs> Ganon's pressure is fucked. Ganon's pressure is hell fucked um, by down guns or was I guess. Yeah. Um, anyway, Joker is. For sure, top three. If you don't think he's top three, he's, I will fight you in the street. Oh, wow. You're, you're an, an, an ignoramus that doesn't deserve to have an opinion. That character <laughs> is absurdly good. There is no anything. Like, he is, he is top three. If, if you think anything other than that, I cannot listen to what you're saying. Um, so, anyway, back to the original thing of it. I, I don't know. I think the closest character I have resonated with um, in Ultimate, back to why I play Ganon, Sure. Is probably Palatina and Marth. Obviously, they're the ones I use the most. Yes. Um, Ridley was close for a while, but there's some nuance that I don't like about him. Doesn't make him bad. It's just not for me. Mm-hmm. All those characters are better than Ganon. Um, but you but can't there's play enough them. tiny. I can play them. No, no, no. I, I mean, like, like to be true to yourself and and be true yeah, to who speaks to the you. The problem yeah. is how much Ganon does speak to me in this game, and it has nothing to do with him as a character. Um, his. It's it's not his lore or his whatever. I, eh, his, it's a little bit his lore, I'm sure. Well, I like Edge Lords if you're going yeah, there, but but I hated him in four and brawl. Okay, well, wasn't he really bad in both of those? Wasn't he worse in both of those games? Debatably, than he was slightly better in, in four, depending on who you ask and where it ends up. In customs, up. he was definitely unquestionably better. worse in brawl. I mean, he was yeah, the worst character, worst character in, the game. in the game by like not even mm-hmm. like you would need if you compare how bad Ganon was in brawl to how bad he is in ultimate. Even assuming, let's say for the sake of, sake of argument, sake of argument, Ganon is the worst character in Ultimate. Yeah. Assuming all else is equal to have that equivalent, you would need like three more tiers of empty space. <laughs> so he's not just F, he's like R. That's how bad he is okay. in Brawl. He is that bad. He is literally that bad. Ice Climbers can, as Sopo, one Ice Climber, can chain grab him from, <laughs> from any percent up to 100. Uh-huh. Or maybe not 100, maybe it's like, it's like 60 or 70. It's some... Very high percent. They can chain grab him to the edge of the mm-hmm. stage, 
They do a down throw and they detilt him, which is a true combo. And when they detilt, you just wait one millisecond and then you shoot out an ice block and it guaranteed he can do literally nothing. It always gimps him and he dies. It is a, that is, I literally think, I literally think no memeing and no exaggeration that Ice Climbers versus Ganon in Brawl is a 9-1 matchup. I am not memeing. 9-1, not 10-0 though. 9-1. Okay. I have well, never could be I have never found a matchup that's 10-0. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they exist. I don't think there's any such thing as a 10-0 matchup. Um ever. I don't think it's possible unless it's like Saitama from the the One Punch Man fighting game. I mean, I haven't played that, but yeah. I was going to say like Omega Tom Hanks versus some character oh, sure. in Mugen or something, <laughs> you know, like uh if you guys don't know about Omega Tom Hanks. Um <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we I, need to describe what Mugen is geez. first, right? Yeah, Mugen is uh if you wanted to make a fighting game, but mostly just had uh, 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 sprite sheets and uh, you didn't want to make a fighting game. Uh, Ronald McDonald, uh, Blue Suede Goo, uh, Omega Tom Hanks uh, are all top tier characters and whatever you're thinking of is bad. Yeah, basically, it's like you can put any character you want into the Mugen engine. Yes. Like people like mod it. They put every and So it's just this thing that has been modded to infinity. There's like a billion fucking characters in it. And one of them, yeah, one of them is Omega course, yeah. Tom Hanks, which is, it's just like Tom Hanks' head on a <laughs> shitty, on a shitty, on like, on like a shitty, like stick figure-esque body. It's his like floating 2D head with like no animation on like a shitty stick figure body. And all of his moves, all of his all of his moves, what do you, what do you press like, it's so amazing. It's so amazing. Yeah. You guys need to Google if you're if you're Please still on the bike, an Omega Tom Google Hanks Omega combo Tom video. Hanks combo video or Omega Tom <laughs> Hanks highlight video. All of his moves, like whether you press like light punch or medium punch, or I don't even know if he has specials. I don't even know. But all of his moves, no matter what button you press, it's giant, <laughs> giant, a giant DVD of one of Tom Hanks' movies <laughs> appears on the screen. The DVD is like. Two Zangiefs in size. The DVD is giant. It covers almost the entire screen. And it'll be like, it'll be like Sleepless in Seattle, the DVD. It takes up the entire screen and it just flies from <laughs> one side of the screen. From one side of the screen to the other. And they're all like plus on blocks. Like sure. if you block them, he just does more <laughs> DVDs. And so he's just throwing like, like you've got mail, fucking, <laughs> fucking. <laughs> fucking castaway fucking forest gump and they're just and they come from different directions <laughs> so like you'll think like oh i can i'm jump, safe yeah i can I'm jump, jump over here. you've yeah. got mail but then <laughs> but then like mr rogers documentary flies up from the bottom <laughs> and fucking like trip guards you when you oh, try yeah. to jump <laughs> like it's absurd it's amazing so yeah please google omega tom hanks if there's one thing you've learned today oh my god it's, it's amazing google omega tom hanks and i i believe your argument was that ganondorf and brawl was exactly as bad as omega tom hanks is good pretty close yeah I mean, okay and I mean, you know, omega tom hanks is pretty nuts like it's pretty nuts like yeah but but he is real bad in brawl Mm -hmm. So, yeah, Ganon is good enough that I think it's not a total waste of time to play him to a pretty specific degree of of goodness, which mm -hmm. I think is, um, I don't know, were I in a scene that wasn't as good as I think St. Louis Ultimate is, I think it's pretty conceivable that I would be easily top 10 in certain scenes, depending on where I sure. lived. Um, that, to me, is worth Fucking playing, with playing your best character. That's worth fucking with. Yeah, yeah, that's worth like liking and doing well with. And I also think while I'm dumping on him, um, I do think there are plenty of matchups, even with like top tiers, that really aren't that bad. Like Ganon Lucina, people are always like, that matchup must be horrible. I'm like, it's it feels not. bad. Is it like six four or is it better? I'd say it's like six four. It's not bad at all. For such a god awful character as Ganon. It's York. really yeah. not bad. And it's because like Ganon is quote unquote a sword character. He does have a sword. So he doesn't mind fighting swordies. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, but he but even his aerials are like sort of sword aerials. Yeah. Um so he doesn't mind fighting swordies. The edge guarding can be bad, but you can go really low and it's not that bad. Um he does fine against her in neutral. I really don't think it's bad. Um Palatina is 
I think one that a lot of people think is super bad. And I fought Globo and he has three stocked me. Sure. And then I fought Globo and I kind of dunk on him and win with like two stocks. Um, I would never say that I have odds against Globo locally. You know, like he's definitely better. And the matchup is hard enough that like there's no I mean, if you bet on me, you'd be insane. Sure. But I think that's a pretty winnable matchup to me. Yeah, maybe maybe only a six four. It's it's the worst thing I've ever felt in my life. But it's fighting six, Globo. Four? Yeah, no, no. I was the, I was paraphrasing you. Oh, what I'm I, saying. I is have good. played Globo before, and he shat on me. But that's well, because I'm bad. I mean, I think he's really good. I think he also, um, unlike a lot of players, I think the big. I actually think the biggest thing, and this is where. Oh man, I like talking about Ganondorf. This is why I play Ganondorf. I just like, even though I think yeah. he's bad, I just like the way he works. I don't know. If what you it thought is. this was a Smash versus Grand Blue uh, podcast, this is definitely a Ganondorf podcast. It's just podcast a Ganondorf now. podcast now. Ganondorf um, butts and sadness. I think Ganondorf butts and sadness. That is, I'm. That will be. Yeah, man. If I ever make a podcast where I'm just alone and depressed, it'll. Be- <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to make sure I keep coming back. Me talking yeah. to the wall about Ganondorf butts and sadness. <laughs> But I think I think what Globo does as a player is run away at the times he's a disadvantage. Um, Dristan does that too, but he plays Greninja, so it doesn't count. Yeah. Um, Greninja just gets to leave. Greninja just gets to leave, and it doesn't matter. Um, but yeah, what, what um, Globo does specifically is he will recognize, and I, I played a bunch of friendlies with him at the last um, Maryville. And I think he three-stocked me like twice. I want to say the overall wins of the matches, he, he probably won 60% of them. Sure. I had some games where I won really well. If he won 60% of them, then that means it was a 60-40 sure. split. He had some games that I think he, I do think he three-stocked me twice in them. Um, and I believe both of them were on FD. So, eh. Yeah. Eh. yeah. Um, but he will recognize and he would say like out loud while we were playing. Like I would get him in a situation where other people, I'm like, oh yeah, I put you in this game in place and you're about to get fucked. He would literally just go, nope. Like he would say, <laughs> he nope. Would say nope. He would say nope and just like <laughs> and drop leave. shield and book yeah. it. And like, <laughs> even if I hit him with like a move, it's like, I'm out, I'm out of the situation. See ya. And I think that is, the, that's the real reason Ganon is bad that a lot of people don't understand is he puts you in these situations and I have put a fair amount of work into putting you people into situations where you get their shield low and you threaten shield breaks or you threaten shield poke pressure. But the thing of it is, most of the time, if you just roll away or jump away or eat a wizard foot instead of getting your shield broken, yeah. you're out. And then, and then you can leave. You're just gone, yeah. and then he can't really do anything until you decide to go in again. And I think once you understand that, I think I think a lot of people don't understand that. They fight a decent Ganon, and they... And then they, they suddenly think they have delusions of mid-tier. They try to play the game against him. Oh, and you can't do that. Yeah, yeah. You, you can just leave. You can just leave. <laughs> yeah, you and, could You and, could always... And, and it's like it's like when you you uh, you get into like the side B mix-up. Yeah. And it's just like, you could just leave for a lot of characters. Not all characters. Like Ganon, Bowser is like almost 50-50. It's like 55-45 Bowser. Sure. He's got matchups that are fine, but there's plenty. Like, well, that's practically winnable. Yeah. No shit. <laughs> if your character's if your character is decently fast, though, I think, or 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 can be, and this is a slippery slope, because like I don't think Ganon has that much trouble, quote unquote, with zoning, depending on the character. Um, the links, I don't think he has that much trouble. It's like okay. four, it's like four six. It's fine. It's fine. No problem with that zoning. But then like Mega Man zoning. So oh yeah, like duck you're, you're gone. There's nothing. There's no god. What do you do? Yeah, it's you and you just death. can't because they just the way that yeah. So anyway, yeah. I don't want to gush about Ganon too long, but I do still <laughs> think it's already been like too late. A million years. But yeah, too late. <laughs> but uh, well, I said too long. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you, this was the plan the whole time. Yeah, yeah, I think he's fun though, and I think going back to kind of aligning that to Grand Blue and some of the other games we talked about. I guess what we're really talking about is character choice. And for me, I think there is a point of maybe the character's not good, but it's good enough for you to grow to a degree that is worth your time. Sure. And and it takes a specific type of character to be able to grow you personally, whoever you is in this instance. And, I and think, sometimes you get more out of that. Yeah. Yeah. Even if you don't stick with them, but probably stick with the character that speaks to you. Yeah. Yeah. Um, which is, I, I think, I've, why I feel so comfortable with Charlotta, because uh, I've been doing Sumo Splash and uh, EX Headbutt for, what, you 10 years? Damn so bunga potato motherfucker. Yes, that's me. 
Yeah, no, you're right. And she's a way better character than Ihanda. E Ihanda e is properly designed and makes sense. Ihanda e is even though he's bullshit. Good even. I he would is say. good even, but yeah. he has weaknesses that make sense based on his ridiculous strengths. I don't Charlotta know. just does random give, ass. Dumb give her shit. twelve years. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, you know, you know, come back, come back to me in 2032. That's fair because yeah. we all thought Ihanda e was godlike and super. He was, to be fair, he wasn't, and you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> he was really good. I think all the people who thought charge characters were top tier, and I was one of them for a long time. <laughs> um, going back to super, yeah. Once they added, we're talking about Street Fighter Four now. Street Fighter Four, um, Super Street Fighter Four. They added version select to Ultra. Mm -hmm. And so every other version of Street Fighter was like every patch in Smash or every update to any game. Kind of, yeah. Where the game was just gone, however it was, and now you were in this new game, and you would talk about how it used to be, <laughs> but you couldn't really do it because nobody was going to go Yeah, who, who's going to unpatch they, they but gonna, just Ganondorf? Yeah. And who's going to repatch but just Joker? Exactly. Yeah. So with Ultra Street Fighter 4, you could literally play any version of any character that ever existed just for funsies. In Versus, you could enable version select. You could play vanilla, you could play super, you could play AE, you could play AE 2012. And you could play them against each other. So I could yes. be playing super and you could be playing AE 2012. Correct. So yeah. it was like the most fun hypothetical matchup thing. This is reason number 4,552. Why, why Street Fighter 4 is the best, the best game, game of all time. Yeah. Um, yeah. The only thing it didn't do, <clears throat> and I will forever complain about this stupid niche, is there were technically two versions of the Ultra characters. There was... Ultra, show your math. Ultra release. What was that? I said show your math. Yeah, uh, there was the Ultra release. Sure. And then there was, I think it was 1.04. It released in like 1.02 or 3, and they just, they eventually, like a, it was like a month or two down the road, they released 1.04. So in the original release version of Ultra, there were all kinds of different things, like Rolento could not as easily escape or do certain combos. 1.03, I don't remember what version, so I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say base Ultra, I'm going to uh -huh. say. Whatever the base Ultra patch was, I don't remember. That Rolento, his escape options were such that Oni could... In the corner, which was pretty easy to push to the corner because you're Oni. Sure. When you got Rolento in the corner, you could option select his wake up and literally every single option he did to try to escape if you option selected jab into Crouch Fierce. Mm -hmm. Crouch Fierce would be high enough and he didn't have enough invincibility that it would catch him and air reset him and he would burn his meter to try and get out. So, so the only he option had he had to sit was there and block? He had, to, he had to eat block Yeah. or he had to um, do like a raw ultra on wake because he didn't have like a basically like a, a good true, reversal, true reversal. Yeah. um because they they also buffed his ex spinny baton move to be mm -hmm. like a more true reversal in the next patch so this is something that like i always loved that because i was like oh my god everyone has given me so much shit about saying that like oni is you know a, a, a less bad version of ganondorf where he wins no matchups <laughs> but he's a character that plays honest that's how oni was in and Street he has Fighter. a lot of even no, matchups. nowhere yeah. near as bad as ganondorf but a sure. very similar character design where it was like he really didn't really win anything but like he but he didn't lose that close hard. enough to even that yeah. like you could you could mix people up i think oni dicked on rolento in the release of ultra like mm -hmm. oni like maybe like almost seven threed rolento it was hilarious like i would just shit on these rolentos and then they buffed rolento and it was like and now it's like six four rolento because they gave him all of the things that I could option select. They're all invincible enough that he just flies away for free. He had a, a means of, he had several means oh, of escape. Oh, not yeah. only does he then, after the patch, fly away for free if he decides to do an option to just get out of the corner, you have to hard read, basically, sure. to beat it. He also has an actual reversal in his EX spinny baton move. And you have to respect that. Which you die. have to respect. Yeah. And then he beats you in neutral because he's relento. And I was just like, wow, well, that's terrible. Anyway, my point was. Yeah, back about versions. My point about the versions and the reason that's relevant. No one would ever want to pick one, version one base ultra Rolento. Rolento. Yeah. But you would want to pick base. Good Rolento. Uh, no, no, base ultra able. Oh, yeah. Base ultra able had he could combo his overhead into on counter hit into step kick. Which is really it was bad. amazing. Yeah. yeah, but he couldn't combo Crouch Light into Stand Hard Punch. Crouch Light and Stand, uh, where you do, yeah, yeah, yeah. So they gave him that. They took away the overhead counter hit, and Which they means gave him Crouch Light into could, Stand Hard Punch. You could go from uh, from uh, base ultra to one point oh four ultra, confirm, and then from correct high. To, and so yeah, for yeah, some yeah. people, they liked that. For me, I was like, no, I want no. Give me the. I would have mained able one hundred percent because I fought uh, Blank Mauser, who is a, a Smash player from Iowa. 
who <laughs> not, not Blank Mauser. Sorry, Blank Mauser is the wrong Smash player. I, I'm so sorry. Sorry, you, you got the wrong fought, Smash player fought, from well, Iowa. They're both from Iowa. They're both <laughs> yeah, from of Iowa. Of course, yeah. And they're both Smash players who play fighting games. Uh, also, they're both Asian and I'm racist. Um, but oh, no. <laughs> but, Will, no. <laughs> Endgamer 3K is who I'm actually talking about. I like End, Endgamer. He's you know so Endgamer. nice. You know Endgamer? Yeah. yeah, he's great. They're both great. Well, they were, they were part of the same. I don't same, know the other guy. They were part of the same crew sure. for like Smash and stuff. Um, so anyway, uh, Endgamer played Street Fighter 4. Yes. And he was randomly really good at it despite being terrible at Smash relative to his goodness. Um, he was like way worse at Smash. And I remember I would like almost always beat him at Smash at Brawl. And then I remember fighting him in Street Fighter 4 and I was like, dude, I can like barely beat you like 40% of the time. This is sure. this is nuts. Where I would beat him like 80, 20 in every matchup in Smash. This is which is to our point earlier about how much yeah, easier how much it actually easier. Yeah, is yeah, to yeah, learn yeah. fighting games. So I ended up fighting him at this tournament when Smash 4 released and we were fucking around and we we did all these long sets. I beat him with all my characters, but I like dicked on him hard with Abel. And the reason is because of that fucking overhead mix up. It was ridiculous. And they took it away and I just don't think. And I now you play. can't beat uh, the in-gamer anymore. Yeah, well, yeah. Huh? It's, it's unfortunate. Yeah. But uh, but anyway, so version select was cool. They didn't have that in it. Um, the reason Street Fighter 4 is the best game ever is because you can do version select and you can compare those things. And that was really neat. And that makes you feel like E-Honda, Super E-Honda wasn't the best character. Yes, because... Vanilla Seth is probably better. Vanilla Seth is batshit in even Super, I think, though. Like, Cammy was insane. Cammy was good, but that was a winning matchup for Honda, so I didn't I feel it. I don't know that it was. I think Cammy players were really bad. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm serious, okay. because, because she had instant air, non-meter dive kick, and yeah. nobody fucking did that shit hardly at all. Sure. Uh, J J J J J J. You got all three of the J's. Yeah. He did it. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. He Marvel would, player extraordinaire. Yeah, and, and I remember he did it a little, but like going back and knowing what you know about like Ultra Cami and how busted her EX dive kick is, and then you're like, oh, she can just do that without yeah, like meter. Not only could she do it without it. meter, yeah. but she can freaking build meter. Yeah, while she does, in ab, ab, that is atrocious she could unforgivable satanic what were you thinking why capcom there's no way that character is not better than honda and guile that is absolute asinine bullshit and everyone was too bad to know how good it was that's how i feel about super so not only are you better than everybody at smash because you play ganondorf but you're also smarter than everybody from 2010 absolutely no, okay no, that's okay. not well i mean i am but i'm not okay well obviously ha, but ha, 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 i'm an ha. arrogant asshole everyone's everyone's <laughs> smarter i feel like you're one of the few people that still thinks that to be honest with you still thinks a lot of people think what i think about that super now. honda is not Yes, okay. a lot of people think that Honda and Guile, who everybody thought during Super when it was uh, when it was the game, everyone yeah. was like Honda and Guile are insane. I think the game it, it was only, how long was Super around? It was like a year and a half, some something like it was not around. Long. It was a great. It year was and not half, around long enough say. for people yeah. before Arcade Edition came out. Yeah, it was, <laughs> and they were good. They were the best they've ever been. I don't yeah. dispute that. Yeah. They were the best they've ever been. They're they probably all A tier. They weren't. I'm saying they were not S tier. Okay. All the charge characters, they were not S tier. And Seth in vanilla. The Seth in the original in release. Super. He might have still been. But but vanilla. Vanilla sure. Seth was just S tier though. Vanilla Seth yeah. is the dumbest. <laughs> dumb. He's what very if you dumb. had everything and gave up nothing. Well, health, but who cares? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Vanilla, Did you really give it up though? If you yeah, win every game, you never with, got it. Yeah. yeah. No, vanilla Seth was insane. Vanilla Kuma was pretty insane. Vanilla Seth. He Sagat, was really good. Yeah. Not uh, quite vanilla insane, Zangief but dumb. was good. Really, just vanilla was a dumb game. Vanilla Super Street Fighter. Vanilla War, again? <laughs> that was way too much damage in that game. Like booting up an edition select and playing playing a vanilla character in Street Fighter Four versus anyone else and seeing how much damage like one jump in into hands combo does as Honda. Yeah, it's like I literally the, the good first, old days. The first time I did it, I went back and put my buddy Kevin. And he picked vanilla E Honda and he did like a single jump in into hands against me as Oni. Like, and it did like 45%. Yeah, yeah. Percent you only had to health. be right like twice ish. And we both just paused and laughed for like 10 minutes. It was that absurd. Like, so yeah, vanilla. I want everything I talk about Street Fighter 4 and how good it is, it basically doesn't include vanilla. <laughs> that doesn't mean I, I enjoyed <laughs> you vanilla. You loved it, yeah. But I enjoyed vanilla, but like, it was an abusive It's relationship. good that that game is not how Fixed. it stayed. Like, basically, yeah. everything since Super, it had, it went in different directions. There were different nuances, but really, since I, I think Super is what made like Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 4. 
because from super to AE and AE to ultra, oh, that's our timer. We have rambled for a very long time. We'll, we'll close this out. But yeah, from super to AE and from AE to ultra is not nearly as big of a transition. Yeah, no, everything else just felt like vanilla a step. into super. Yeah, and from vanilla to super was like, I don't know, like the highway. Some something that isn't a good metaphor. Life is a highway. <laughs> I'm gonna we're gonna ride it. Damage you all night long. There's too much damage. There's, there's a lot of damage. In so game. much damage. Yeah. And fireball traps. You remember that? No, what are you talking about? So okay. Yeah, no, we're going into overtime because this, this is hilarious. Um <laughs> bear with us. <laughs> Ryu could everyone could do this, but it was especially dangerous with Ryu, but everyone could do it, including Seth. Um, you can throw a fireball. Uh-huh. You could super cancel a fireball at any time. That's still true in the the, the subsequent versions of four. Um, well, not at any time. Um, but you can cancel like the whiff animation of a fireball into super. Okay. It's just that in, and I don't know exactly how they fixed it. So, you know, correct me in the chat later on if you guys know the exact specifics of this. But it was basically such that in vanilla, well, this I know is true. You could throw a fireball and at any point during that, if they jumped, you could super cancel. So there was no right answer. If you jumped the fireball. <laughs> and then you ate super. Yes. I don't remember that. Oh, that's a real thing. 100%. No, I'm ask not Mr. saying it isn't ask real. Ask Mr. K about it because you could do it with Seth too. <laughs> oh, or wait. You throw the sonic boom. You yeah. throw the sonic boom. And then they're like in the air. And you're like, oh, cool. I'm going to super cancel. The fireball doesn't need to hit. Yeah, it's already like halfway like across the screen. Trip guards you just super cancel. Yeah. You, just, you just super cancel it. Yeah, the tummy yeah. pole. Exactly. Um, so they they got rid of that after vanilla where you could still do a fireball. And so like. Basically, you super cancel a special. Yeah. So a normal special that hits like a Shoryuken, well, that makes perfect sense. As yeah, because you, you can hit the one and then you, you, yeah. you do the super. But with a fireball, you can do a fireball, and before the fireball actually hits them, you can do the super. Huh. But past vanilla, it's like only... Like it only as does a it link like so rather far. than a cancel? No, yeah. it just only goes so far that lets you do that. It's like very brief, and I think the reason they do that is so that you can, because it would be kind of busted if you could super cancel the far hit of the fireball. Sure. Yeah, right? yeah, that makes sense. Right? And so it was like in vanilla. Confirmed. It'd be crazy. It'd yeah. be like full screen, and then you're like, oh, now that that hit, now Get I'll super cancel here. it. Yeah, yeah. So they didn't allow that, but in vanilla, it was like they allowed too much time of that whiff <laughs> to where if you jumped over it, you could just be like, nah, fuck you. <laughs> Please be dead. Fuck <laughs> you, you super, like I'll just, or I'll just super the fireball. And so that was absurd. So yeah, Ryu was nuts because you could fireball trap with his super because his super was super fast. Yeah. So you could do that with, Basically anybody with a fireball super, which wasn't too many people, but I guess that includes Seth. shit. Seth, Ryu, that's it. Yeah. Is that it? Rose. Uh, Rose. Sakura? No, no, not Rose. Not Sakura. They didn't have fireball supers either. I mean, you could do the same thing, but it was less good because Ryu had a fireball super, so it traveled across the screen yeah, almost, yeah, yeah. almost instantaneously. His yeah. hard, hard. It was so super fast and so big. Was yeah. insane. Yeah, yeah. So fast, so big. Um, that's what she said. Um, Got him. Anyway. I guess that's it. Fuck, we're at 50 minutes. We're Damn. done. Yeah, I, we, well, we, we could go on. We didn't talk about butts and sadness. Se seen any good butts <laughs> or sadness lately? Like, I don't want to leave our people hanging. That's what they came here we for, can, was the butts and the, the sadness. the most recent butt and sadness that I had, which we, is... Please tell me about okay, your most okay. recent butt and sadness. I'm sorry, guys, but we're, we're going we're we're to sit this out. Yeah. Well, this won't take that long. The gist of it is like, I, I don't know, I go through phases with my, my tinderings, right? <laughs> my tinderings? Yeah. And sometimes I'm just like, yeah, Tinder, 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 swipey, swipey, swipe. And other times you like talk to someone and they become like a weird stalker and you're like, I don't want to Tinder for a while. This is awkward. <laughs> I don't even want to swipe. So I started swiping again recently, like a couple days ago or something. And this chick matched me like last night. Sure. And I'm reading her profile and her profile is just like almost all the things I would ever want in a profile. It's like similar, weird metal obscure metal bands and i'm like oh yeah, ah, yeah. metal music man yeah yeah, that, yeah. That adds yeah. Up. and then she's like oh i'm an extroverted introvert i'm like yeah me too yeah and she's I've, like, I've oh, i'm very direct and assertive and i say what i mean and i'm like oh man these did, all sound did she like write that she was really loud no no, no it wasn't a hundred percent i mean <laughs> no, i would well, not i would you, i mean you don't want to date yourself well yes i mean i would have sex with myself but i would not date my, i would not date myself <laughs> who wouldn't if you say you wouldn't have sex with yourself you're a fucking liar it would be so weird you're I, a liar I would not. okay you know what to be fair now that i'm thinking about this out loud the way you are that seems pretty reasonable but for me <laughs> 
there is no weird awkwardness. Okay. There's just like, why the fuck would we pass up this opportunity, me? And the other me would be like, high Ab- five. Absolutely, yeah. let's have sex with each other. Um, for you, yes, I could see you just being like, Ugh, nah. Ugh, okay. okay, okay, okay. I can, I see what you mean. All right, all right. But for back me, to, back to for your me, butts. There's no way. Yeah. But anyway, I was like, man, this chick seems neat. She messaged me, and or no, sorry, I messaged her. And then she just hasn't messaged me back. And I'm like, fuck, man. Like, is this just going to be another Tinder thing lost to the wind? And then that, it's like, I'm I don't telling even want to touch these butts. It's coronavirus. It, the, the coronavirus has got everybody on Tinder considering and contemplating. But why did she fucking swipe me and like me if she's not even going to fucking respond? Because it wasn't, it wasn't until today that they banned groups of 10 or larger. <laughs> And so now she can't Corona on my failed dating life. Well, yeah, well as my (laughs) lack of skill in fighting games. Because (laughs) thank you, Corona. I have an excuse for everything for how bad I am at all things. No, but like think about it. Like it's your first uh, time out with this person, and you want to go to a public location, and you want to make sure that there are plenty of witnesses just in case they try to attack you. How how are they supposed to to hit you up? Setting aside whether or not you've got the Corona. Well, (laughs) they should still hit me up. We should at least like chat. Oh, and she's going to say, hey, I, I heard that we're going to go 90 days without contact <laughs> and then 30 days with you want to meet up in what, June? I don't know. Maybe you just <laughs> chat. I feel like if we had chatted and then like it seemed like it was going well and then she just fucked off, I'd be like, yeah, OK, maybe that's Corona. Maybe I said the wrong thing. But like I hate when it's like it seems like you're <laughs> it's not like she just had like random pictures and I was like, this chick was hot. And she doesn't yeah. respond to me. It's like she liked my profile. I liked her profile. We looked at the profiles. Both of us, I mean, you look at the profile. I I have not tendered, but I, I understand this to be the case. are like similar enough where you're like, yeah, this should clearly be like they're okay. Oh, no. They're, what if she doesn't want to have sex with herself? <laughs> <laughs> then she wouldn't have liked me. She okay, okay, liked okay. Me. <laughs> she wouldn't have liked me. She wouldn't have liked me. So, okay. The point is like, like if it was just like a blank profile and you're like, ah, this chick's hot and I messaged her and she didn't answer. Like, okay, maybe my initial answer was, or my, my initial message was shit. It wasn't funny But you're enough. confident in your initial message. I wouldn't even say that. My initial message was not particularly great. It wasn't bad. My was it howdy? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. But like, okay, I have had some like good, <laughs> stupid initial messages where you're like, okay, clearly they're going to respond and it's good and Sure, dumb. sure. But then sometimes you match with a person and you're like, we're on the surface level compatible enough that I'm not going to like do a dumb I'm not going to do a dumb message to this person. I'm going to respect them and be like words and things that are relevant and ask a question the about no stuff. The no mix up mix up. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I feel like and I feel like everybody knows when you have like a certain like certain matches you match you're like this is a match I'm just going to like message a dumb thing and maybe it goes well, fine. But then you have other times where you match and you're like, "All right, the way that they have like presented themselves in like their description and the way I present myself, this should be you should get at least a response, typically, out of those. Okay. And sometimes you don't because it's a fucking blow up, man. Damn, dude. I don't know if it's coronavirus. Well, anyway, but and sad. Just like I blame Netplay for my losses, you can blame coronavirus for your losses. I don't want to blame that, though. I know. Yeah. But that's you got your butts and your sadness all at the same time. You should feel proud. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have been Metal Music Man. And I have been Professor Lux. And this has been an hour of rambling about, I don't even remember what, but we'll find you Grand guys. Blue. Grand Blue. Grand Blue. Grand Blue. This we is didn't even Grand talk Blue about podcast. bursts. Yeah, yeah it was just Grand Blue the whole time. All right, we'll catch you guys next time. Next time. When we do it. Whenever thing. that is for the third episode. For the third episode, because that's how numbers work. Goodbye, everybody.